right now you are watching a electcalc interface. We are also used to comment about this ergonomic interface, easy to use. It is uh, normally not uh, very complex. And as you can see, there are not so many commands in the upstream menus. So in this case, Elecalc will help you to size or to design your own projects as long as you are advancing with your project. So we can see different different parts of our interface. In this case, these menus that I commented right now, just for uh, designing for some main functionalities that we are going to see uh, in the um, in, during the presentation. We have the biggest part here. It is the drawing area in which we are going to enter all our components and we are, go we are going to design our single line diagram. In this drawing area, we have uh, the components toolbar. We have all the components here classified by families. In this case, for example, power supplies, even for example, the direct current power supplies, other components like UPS, BFD, some cables, for example, and some protections. You can see the different kinds of protections. We can manage fuse, circuit breaker, if you want to use receipt or current device or not. All the receivers that we can manage, in this case, for example, all these kind of things. Capacitor banks, and we are going to see later. And other components like measure transformers or protection relays. In this case, we have also a decorative component toolbar. We can complete our project with different uh, components, for example, uh, contacts or ammeters or whatever you need. These are not uh, calculation components. These are only for decorator for include more information in your, uh, in your single line. Also, we have different columns that we are going to see in some minutes. At the right side, we have a library of schematics you can configure. Uh, they are some components already created by default, but you can configure whatever you need and just, for example, reuse into your uh, different projects. For example, if you want uh, to use different information, different more complex information, and simply by dragging and dropping, we can enter into our single line. So in this case, we can uh, make our projects faster. Yes, if you, you have a type of drawing, you can create this way. And at the bottom side, we have the data area in which we are going to enter all the main parameters and advanced parameters for all our components. But also we are going to read in real time the, all the calculated values for each component. 